What up, YouTube fam? I know it's been a minute since y'all seen your girl on camera, but your girl has been busy. We have been going through a renovation process. And let me tell you, that can be stressful as hell. So, these projects are finally finished. And one of the projects that I am going to do a reveal on is my new master walk-in mini boutique me and my husband have shared a closet for 17 years and my clothes have spilled out of the master ba uh, bedroom into the guest bedroom so with my little mini walk-in boutique i had to do a lot of decluttering uh, a lot of donations and even though i do that every season I still have an overflow of clothes and shoes and purses. So my purses was getting out of hand. So I wanted a way to display my purses and my trinkets that I like, you know, I wanted a way to display them. So this little mini boutique came in uh, on point for me because I got to design it how I wanted it designed. And being that it was a three piece uh, master bathroom in the beginning, uh, now it is uh, a leveled out floor the contractors did do that and they did uh, put up new sheetrock because the bathroom was tile so and mind you on my 16th anniversary I did a video but I did not put it up uh, me taking down tile on my 16th wedding anniversary maybe like uh, well October the 1st I didn't put it up yet and I don't I'm debating on should I put up the uh, process of the uh, project um, on YouTube because it's not a lot of YouTube videos out there showing how you can convert a small bath into a closet but it's a lot of them out there how you could convert a closet into a bathroom so I'm debating on should I put that up or not but in the meantime I did a lot of budgeting in this closet because my husband went overboard on his garage and went over budget so costs had to be cut somewhere so uh, with that closet I guess I had to eat a lot of the cost by doing a lot of the work or a lot of DIY myself as far as the shelves being built in there my uncle did that for the low for me he pretty much did it for free and a lot of the uh, closets that I was looking at and closet reveal on YouTube a lot of the youtubers have these big closets and you know they got room to walk around and to put a makeup room a film room by no means my closet is like that but it's my space and it's small and I love it and the space that I have is eight long eight feet long on and four feet wide so you can tell by those measurements that it leaves little room to walk through or it leaves little to do anything with. But I did design it and I do love it and I do, uh, y'all, I'm going to just give y'all the reveal on it. But before I do, let me give you a few of the hacks on the Ikea Billy bookcase. I went to Walmart, got a bookcase for $24.99. A lot of the cube storages that you see that that was trying to charge $29.99 for three shelf cubes. I went to Dollar General and got the white ones for $16. Um, a lot of the little trinkets that you see up, uh, like my little flowers and the little pretty vases, I did that myself. I spray painted because, you know, you can do a lot with Dollar Tree trinkets and you can do them up and design them how you want to. So, and that's what I did. Uh, the most expensive thing that I put in that closet was the chandelier light and the dresser that I got from Target. The light came from Home, uh, Home Depot. And those two things was the most expensive things that I put in there. Everything else in there, y'all, was on budget and I tried to stay uh, below a certain budget. Even with the wood of building the shelves, I got on a budget at Home Depot. So, without further ado, let's get a look at this closet. Okay. Walking into my closet, you will see I have my mirror here. And mind you, before we go in, uh, it was a brand new door put in here, but I broke the door jam. 
and the contractors they left the uh the side pieces or the trim to put up on the side and i guess i gotta figure out how i am going to fix that hole right there see that hole guys yes it was a new door i broke the jam on it so they said i broke it i fix it so that is how that working so if y'all got any ideas on how i can do that just uh subscribe share and leave me a comment on what you guys think i need to do mm -hmm. see they left the trim for this all of that right there they left the trim but i need to figure out something i need to do with that right there right there and, yep y'all can see that right yep but with that being said let's look at what i put in here see that tie rack right there i put this tie rack up here that i use for my scarves my belts and my robe um this is the cube shelf that i was talking about right here where you could take cube shelves and you could do pretty much anything you wanted to do with them and being in the military you learn how to conserve or save on storage so if you know how to roll your clothes you will get a lot of storage as far as the billy bookcase the walmart uh, bookcase that i got here it is right here and as you can see yes that is the bookcase and it is attached to the wall uh, my little trinkets yeah that little vase that I painted silver and put some flowers in yes I have my little jewelry for my my jewelry stand that I have for my bangles um, and see this little bowl right here just spray painted it silver so when you come in here you can just drop your stuff in there put your top on it and keep moving this little stand right here I got from Tuesday morning that I painted silver it was brown that I painted silver and this is the shelves in my closet as you can see I'm hope I'm holding it tight enough starting at the top shelf I went 12 feet down, well, 12 inches down, and each shelf is 12 inches down till I got to my third shelf, which is here. And I didn't want to drop a fourth shelf because I didn't want my clothes to hang on the floor. But yes, this is giving you a tour of my closet. Okay. that is a tour of my closet and that light is from home depot and these hangers y'all if y'all looking for some velvet hangers these hangers you can get from ollie you get six no you get 12 hangers for 2.99 compared to you getting them from at home or home goods or uh, going to your local uh, container store. I got found these at Ollie's and y'all they save space I love these hangers now these gray ones over here for my hanging clothes I actually had to order from Walmart and they come six in a pack for seven forty nine. and these are for my hanging clothes right here so I can hang uh, my pants and I hang my dresses and my skirts but yeah and they are they cut down on a lot of space because i had the clear plastic hangers with the clamps on them as well as just the uh shirt hangers and my clothes was always falling off but this slim line everything y'all and i truly love it and this is the tour of my walk-in mini boutique as i call it it's my little and i love it y'all and this is the dresser that i actually got from uh target and that dresser was hell to put together and i'm not even gonna lie i have my leggings in this one my jeans in this one as well as my sexy underwear in that one and tank top uh, all the plastic containers that you see come from Dollar Tree. This little arrangement came from Dollar Tree that I done. And this one right here I just embellished. This little three-way mirror came from uh, eBay. 
and I got a two pack to put on my uh, dresser uh, here as well as my vanity in the bathroom but yes this is the outcome of the closet guys on my mini boutique as I like to call it and this is a slow spin around of my closet and that is that so that is that and if you guys like this video if you guys like this video you know what you need to do you need to subscribe you need to share and you need to comment and leave that positive feedback on what you really think about the closet and what I can do to make it better for the closet. All right. Well, neighbors, make sure you tell your old neighbors to watch your new neighbors and peace.